Hey, what's up, and guys? Sizzle here. Uh, welcome to yet another episode of the Pokemon Black and White 2 Live Decks. Last episode, we got a surprise coughing encounter. Uh, this episode, I need to actually cure Anna. Um, I don't feel like going all the way back to the Pokemon Center, so I'm just gonna try to keep clearing out this area. And if we have the opportunity, uh, I'm gonna make sure to catch a second coughing. Uh, yeah. Let's go talk to this guy. Interesting. Got a scientist that just felt like leaving, I guess. Tiny mushroom, I think that's just an item you sell to the shops. Let's see, this should be either double encounter or just high level encounters. Okay. Magnemite, level 11. Ooh, wow. That's some fancy stuff. I guess it's a high level encounter area. I don't actually know why this is darker grass, though. Um, I figured it was the high level encounter area, but it's very clearly not. Either that or we just got really either lucky or unlucky. Uh, he lived there without sturdy. It just, it just felt like living on one health. Okay. Whatever. Let me get another encounter in here. I just want to make sure. If it is higher level, that could, that could be sick. Okay, no, it is the it is the double battle area. We just decide not to get one, and that is a level 14 Growlithe. And I'd rather not fuck with a level 14 Growlithe. So, let's uh, let's peace out here. Wow, this actually this is a pretty long intro. It's the quad intimidant. Maybe we should have caught stuff there because it would have been higher level, but whatever. We'll just find another coffee in here for sure. Wow, I didn't actually think we would. And this one's level 12, so this one's probably gonna be the one going on the team. The one I call it Gassy. And then this one that's gonna evolve, so maybe I should go with a name based more on wheezing than coughing. Um I mean wheezing is just like a bigger gas ball. I don't know. I'm not, not thinking that well. And I'm gonna make. I'm gonna call it something that does not make a lot of sense, probably. Uh, let me just think of a, an Overwatch character I know I like. I'm not gonna call this thing Lucio. It just doesn't sound right. Hmm. Oh, uh, you know, I'm gonna call it Torb. It's Torbjorn. If that works. Could not tell you why. Well, actually, I could tell you why. I'm just thinking of the character. Actually, I think. It's wouldn't Junkrat work better? But it's not a rat at all. Maybe I don't maybe I don't go with the uh, the Overwatch character name. That just doesn't make a lot of sense here. But this thing's gonna be a Weezing, or at least it's the idea. Um I'm just gonna call Pine. I, I cannot tell you why. Was, this is gonna be a common theme here. I don't think a l I don't like have reasoning behind a lot of names. What do you... What do you mean? What? Is Pine, like, offensive? In some culture? My bad. I, I didn't know that was an offensive word. I was thinking of, like, a pine cone. What do I want to call this thing? I'm actually, like, struggling to get names now. That that kind of shook me. Um... I'm gonna call Wally. We're gonna have, we're gonna have Wally the... Wally the Weezing. That's a pretty good name. But what is... Okay, maybe I shouldn't ask this. But someone should comment what Pine means? Like, what, it, what it's offensive for? Maybe don't comment that. I think that's a bad idea. That would probably be a bad thing for the YouTube algorithm. But I am genuinely curious, and I'm definitely not gonna remember this like by the time this goes live, so you know, do what you will. I am I am mildly curious though. I'm not gonna like, you know, ban your comment or whatever. Uh, if if you do explain it. Uh, I'm just yeah, okay. Levitate, that's nice. I don't know what a lax nature does though. Let's see. Lax nature is Plus defense, minus special defense, which, I mean, that just makes it even more bulky. That's not that bad. 
It's not that great, because special defense is a weak point, but then this thing gets uh, plus defense minus special attack, so it's actually just straight up better. However, I, I named this one Gassy, and I think that just works better for the single stage evolution. I'm assuming they both get levitated. Yeah, okay. But you know what, we're, we're, taking, we're taking Wally with us anyway. And uh, I really just don't want Adina here, but yeah, no, I think just Adina should go. Oh, and the metal guy's already got another medal for us, which is fast. Pokemon Center fan. Yeah, big fan. Let me actually... Don't forget, I need more Pokeballs and I need some potions, because I don't have any healing items. I was using, like, orange berries, which is just weird. Let's get ten more for another Premier Ball. I don't think Great Balls give you Premier Balls, or I would have grabbed those. I think the only way to get Premier Ball is through 10 Pokeballs, which is kind of nuts, because there's some of the better looking, uh... There's some of that better looking Pokeballs, in my opinion. But yeah, let's, uh... Let's go down here, finish off this area, get some levels in. You already know... Something. Habitat list. You don't have the habitat list filled up yet? There's something else here? There's a- there's a whole nother encounter? Bro, I gotta just check out what's in here then. What am I missing? Bro... I'm- I'm- I'm gonna Google it, I'll be real. Burbank Complex. There it be. That's... that's just really annoying. Apparently it's- it's Padov. And it's supposed to actually be a higher encounter rate? Why am I not seeing it? That's really weird. Oh, wild Pokemon. Wait, what? What was this section then? It was also wild Pokemon. Yeah, there's Elecade, Magnemite, Padov, Patra. And there's all the water Pokemon, which I don't think should count toward it, but actually they probably do. Which means I won't be able to do this. And then... Yeah, but any random walking. I've got all the encounters for just walking into grass. Which is Patrick, Rally, Magnemite, Coughing, and Elekid. It's actually Magmi the other games. Um, that's weird. Well, whatever. Um, I guess I guess this we're not gonna see this MTC interaction every till way later. There's probably she probably gives you some useful S item. And then this girl's just a trainer looking at across the ocean. Right. Yeah, the only problem I guess with having Growlithe also is it evolves with Firestone. I don't know when you get one of those in this game. I might, I might actually have to do some research and figure that part out. I don't think we have enough friendship for Return to do a bunch yet, so I think Ember is actually the play here, even if it is a really weak move. Did an awful lot. It's faster? I didn't realize. Dude, come on. Isn't that like a 10-20% chance of happening? And I hit myself in confusion. That is that is a certified hood classic right there. If I've ever seen one. That's just really annoying. I'll I'll keep it a stack. That actually is just really annoying. Of course they hit like the stupid low chance of confusion. I'm you know if this thing if this thing hits itself and dies, it deserves it, honestly. You figure it out, Anna. Pick your poison. Okay. Like I just just perish at this point. Oh is it wait, is this speed tie? Do I just have a random ass speed tie with a fucking blue bat from a trainer? That's insane. Like, cause I, I thought I went first the first turn. That's actually nuts. Holy shit. Let's heal Anna back up. It's very annoying, but it's not like the end of the world. I do also want to level Magnemite when I can. But this guy is, he's just, he's nerding out. I gotta see what's over here though. Actually, I actually have to talk to him down here first, cause he... Let's go down here. This guy seems to be a somewhat important NPC. 
Oh no, he just gives me an other. Okay, I mean, that's actually a really good item because those are pretty rare, but like. They have a whole NPC walk around and do shit just for an edit, which is kind of nuts. They would not be putting that type of effort into random NPCs in modern Pokemon, that's what I'm gonna say. That Growlithe vs Growlithe is just not a matchup worth fighting. It's gonna take so long. Especially double intimidate on the field. That's just, that's just not it, Chief. Get me out of here. Really nothing down there, huh? Probably something in the top right though. There's like an empty square up there. Magnemite on the other hand is just free XP, like waiting for me. Got XP. I should speak of Magnemite, I should actually probably lead with him when I'm fighting trainers, because that Magnemite is gonna need XP. I think he'll be primarily what I want to use for the gym. Oh my god. LK can have static, so I'm not gonna bother with this either. I was gonna say though, if there was more, I guess the... It makes sense that water encounters would count toward the, uh... Completion or whatever. Really, no hidden items, it's just like this. Okay. There we go, over here. I think this is the one so you can fall off. Which I'd rather not do. But if I get slow, let's look grab whatever this is. Thief, that's pretty useless actually. I can't think of why I would want to use that. The foreman said you have to do so. Unlucky. Okay, he's got a mag, but good thing I didn't remember to switch to uh, Magnemite. That would not have been the optimal play here. Definitely just hit this thing with your churn. Wow, that is weak. To be fair, there's like zero friendship between the Pokemon I caught, like, not that long ago. This thing's done like three battles with me, so it probably is a pretty low friendship value. Okay. I'm just gonna be poisoned. I don't have another answer to it. This guy's just gonna be annoying. Yeah, might as well try to use one of the fullest here. Just because I don't think I'm gonna bother going all the way back just to heal it. Might as well try to finish. Oh, that's not good. I guess it's not that bad. I thought Assurance was the move where if you use it after a teammate just died, that it did double. And maybe it is, though. I don't think Coughing is known for having a high attack. That could just be what happened. I mean, if, the, if, if Ana dies to poison here, that's unfortunate, but it could happen. Okay, but that's one out of three. Let's leave with Dave for now. Uh, and actually, just in case there's a double battle, let's put Bobby in the second slot. Gotta be a little bit cautious. I don't think I want Ana going to any battles anymore. This poison is weird. That guy's back over there. Do I have to talk to him again? But yeah, and then the third guy's in the top left. We've already seen him. Hat rat. Okay. Dave should easily solo this guy. Still gonna go for the supersonic either way, because confusion is funny. And then we go back to Thundershock. This, this Dave definitely, like, if Ana has no friendship, Dave has even less. He's, he's kind of miles below. Confusion probably already paying off, depending on if Thundershock... I guess Thundershock would've just been the play, because it would've two-shot or whatever. It is still very funny that this thing hit itself twice in confusion. <laughs> there you go. Probably 11 already. That was fast. Sonic Boom? Sure. I forgot what that does. Let's go check on it. Are you to say with the Destructive Shock that always does 20? Okay, it's one of those guaranteed damage moves. 
I mean tackle just won't be useful in a bit. And 50 base power is actually pretty good, but compared to 40 with stab that can paralyze and confusing people, and then return will be above 50 base power eventually. It's definitely not there right now, but it will be. I think. I mean, especially against like Elegant, Sonic Boom will do wonders. Because doing a guaranteed 20 when most things have just above 20 health is kind of broken. I mean, like, Dragon Rage solo is the game a very long time. Because uh, it takes a while to get up to like 40 50 health. The early game is like kind of slow in Pokemon, which is that's kind of one of the cooler things about it. Pretty good, dude. Let's go, almost level 12. Dave is clapping. Time to get to work, because he stands completely still, and now I have to go all the way around. Now let's get another potion gun. And then I'm gonna go check on that scientist guy that gave us the other, because I feel like if I talk to him again, he'll give me more stuff. So why would he go back there? I thought he just walked off screen forever, to just be never seen again. To be honest. Before we battle that worker guy, let's battle the guy here, because I'm definitely not going to remember to do that. Here we go. Youngster Whelan with a Patrat. Just a Patrat. I'm actually curious. This is actually a good damage test, because I can, I can Sonic Boom to do an exact 20, and I can Thundershock first. Okay, sure, why not? When the AI have protect and detect, they always just spam them like off cooldown, which is just really annoying. I think in this case it's using it specifically because I'm a steel type, and it thinks it's using a super effective move. Like when it uses sand attack there, I think it thinks it's using a four times effective move because it's a ground type move. Okay, Sonic Boom. Okay, Sonic Boom does more, so we're not doing a full 20 with Thundershock yet. That's good to know. And we're sand attack, so there's like the tiniest chance that we keep missing, which you know, means we will miss every single possible moment. Here we go. I need going hard in the pain right now. Level 12. Yes, sir. He's actually got a pretty decent set, too. And confusion is always one of those like pretty shitty statuses. That is, uh... It's just nice to have, though. It's like a possible... Clutch. I mean, something like Paralysis is just way better. So if I ever get Thunder Wave, it's instantly replacing. And this thing could have a Fighting Sight move, but I think it's early enough that it doesn't. Watch me eat my fucking words in two seconds, we'll see. Counter. Wow, wait. I was actually gonna go for Sonic Boom, which I think is also special, but it's funny that it went for counter, and I'm using special attacks. Ana would have actually probably gotten rolled here, I think I would have hit it with a turn. Yeah, being, having a steel type this early is kind of nuts, even if it is Magnemite. Not that Magnemite's like bad or anything, it's definitely actually not that bad, uh, especially for an early game mode, but you kind of know what I mean. I don't know why I went for the 90% accurate move to finish it, I'm definitely gonna miss. No, I'm not. Dave is built different, Dave does not carry. It will slaughter everything. No concern. Okay. I don't know if I pressed A, so I have to remember to do that after this fucking patch right encounter. Oh fuck it, Dave. We get some. Dave will get some more experience here. Might as well. Undershock is doing like so much. And it also has a 10% paralysis chance, which is just really nice. It is unfortunate I don't have Sturdy on here, but it really doesn't actually seem to matter this early on, because moves... You, Pokemon that are like low level, like pre-evolution, are actually just more bulky by, by merit of them being like lower level. Let's go check up on that scientist guy before I peace out of this area for good. I guess this is actually the fastest one we were doing. I mean, oh yeah, I have to go around. And none of these encounters other than Pad Shredder are nice for do. I guess coughing, I can probably kill a Thundershock. But it didn't seem... especially bulky, I think. 
from memory correctly. <laughs> Especially if I crit. <laughs> Let's go, Dave. Yeah, you know, maybe I actually put up uh, a look in the front for a little. I mean, you know, Wally, Wally needs some time to shine. Wally doesn't have his time in the sun. I mean, I'm actually probably gonna run from everything with Wally at the front, but I'm just putting him there because Dave is like somewhat low health. A coughing be coughing is not a matchup I wanna fight. I'd rather not. Let's just peace out. Nice. I'm just curious if I talk to this guy if he's got more stuff going on now. That's worth checking out, even if it is wasting an awful lot of time with all these bonus encounters. Then we'll go to the Pokemon Center and I think we have to do the gym next. Is, is it just the same interaction every time? Yeah. That wouldn't be the best. Unless it's like an infinite ether generator, then it's not that bad. But even then, it's not the best. Okay, this one's a, uh, a flame body. A flame body one because we didn't get uh, intimidated. Yeah, poison, poison like smoke stream can probably solo this. It'll be a bit of a long battle, but that's just kind of how uh, coughing and reason work. This thing actually only has Ember, which isn't that great for us, because we're not specially bulky, I don't think. Just gonna keep hitting with smoke screen so that it eventually misses. And I think by using smoke screen we actually up the chance of it using Leer. So we're like it's like a net gain, we basically just won't get hit with anything. You'll slowly die to poison. But let me actually help with that. I forgot what assurance does, but it's probably our best attack here. Yeah, that actually did a good amount. I probably should have just attacked earlier. Boom. Wow, tackles that weak, huh? So I guess Assurance was the play. Maybe it's one of those moves... I, th I thought Hex was the one that got more powerful when something into status, but maybe Assurance is the same thing. Let me check. Assurance... If the target has already taken some damage on that turn, it's doubled. Ah, okay, so let's just use it for, like, doubles. Interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna go through that whole stall fest for level 10 Pokemon. I did it last fight because that thing was level 13, so it actually gave a good amount of experience. For level 10, it's not worth the hassle of uh, stalling out with Toxic. Okay. Pretty sure they're saying the he, this guy has the exact same lines this time. I don't think he'll do anything the second time, but it's worth checking. Like, this could be one of those tiered things where if you do a second time specifically, then you get bonus items. If not, then yes, so be it. Okay, yeah, now he just says, like, he's he's happy to have so much knowledge or whatever. And, you know, that's good for him. I'm glad he's so happy. Rock Smash is... It's, it's coverage, I guess. It is swell. <laughs> Might as well teach that to some Pokemon I can think of in my party. Because it's a guaranteed- I thought it was a guaranteed lower defense, I guess it's not. I mean, coverage- coverage Rock Smash could work fine on, on Growlithe. It's definitely better than, like, whatever we have going on right now with, with Helping Hand and Leer. Um, it'll be nice for uh, Tyler, because I don't think it learns a fighting move for a while. When it ev evolves into a pick knight or whatever, we'll at least have a fighting move, even if it is a weak one. Boom. Let's go move uh, Dave back to the front of our party. And then I think we heal up and go for the poison gem. Try to finish that off. We definitely need to heal up first, but yeah, I think we have to go through the gym to then go into Pokestar Studios. So this actually might be like an hour long episode. Like, we're, we're already 24 minutes in, which is kind of nuts to me. We haven't really done much. But then, uh, yeah, I think we fight the gym leader. That shouldn't take too long, actually. It should be like 5-10 minutes. Uh, but then from there, Pokestar Studios happens, and that's like, actually like 20-30 minutes of 
complete waste of time. That's just not the best. Either way, let's actually first let me check out the house next to the gym, because maybe that'll be important. Okay, they're just talking about restroom. Okay. And that was that was certainly something you could do with that space. Anyway, let's go to the gym. Ooh, it has like louder audio the closer you get. And yeah, see, yeah, I would, I knew, I knew it. If you talk to Clyde, I don't actually know if this guy is introduced. Yeah, he hasn't introduced himself in this generation. But I think last generation he got introduced as Clyde. Okay, so I guess those aren't people who interact with. I just fight the gym leader. No. Can fight the guitarist. Here we go. Let's see what levels we're dealing with. Hopefully they're not too high. Guitarist Billy Joe. It's like Billy Jean. Wow, 14. That is way higher than I was expecting. And it means we'll probably have to go heal every one of these. But we resist bug, we resist poison. We're actually immune to poison, which is probably why I went for that. I mean, we do some good damage to him in return. Low defense all at once. Dave will still kill. This actually is going to be a great experience for Dave. He's just going to level up a great decent amount. We've already found out coughing is weak to uh, special attacks, so... You know? Assurance. Wow, that, that uh, screech defense drop actually did wonders right there. There we go. Dave, Dave can actually probably just solo this entire gym, unless there's like some Pokemon with a coverage move. Which, with uh, with Nintendo and Game Freak, they really, for some reason... Wait. Oh, interesting, the guitar- because I defeat the guitarist, it stopped playing the guitar music. I think the guitar part of the music, that's what I mean. I wonder if I... Get the drummer, because the drummer's the drum, clearly, obviously the drums will go away, but I wonder if the male vocals are also the drummer from Rockstar Nikki here. I guess we'll see. There we go. Get going, Dave. What a thundershock. Why that did nothing. The pound will do even less. I guess I'll Sonic Boom. I mean, Sonic Boom is so good this early in the game. Because nothing is going to do 20 damage unless it's like 4 times effective, which there's not many mons. Other than, I guess Dave is one of the few mons at the at this point in the game would be 4 times weak to something. Okay, Thundershock go for Paralysis and kill a Sonic Boom again. Or it's kill a Thundershock, it actually did enough. I might as well, because Thundershock is 100% and the Sonic Boom is 90. I guess I should have Sonic Boomed. Learning my lesson. It's doing way less now that I don't have that screech defense drop. Which makes me feel good about uh, the actual gym battle. I like the gym leader, you know what I mean? Leave up to 15, learning Thunder Wave, finally. See, but if I get rid of Super Sonic, I lose Parafusion. And that's just like a really funny combo. However, I, I, it's like a necessary loss here, I'll be honest. Guaranteed Paralysis is so, 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 so good. Let's see. Are the male vocals there? Wow, wait, yeah, so he was the male vocalist. Interesting. I guess we'll have to get some more potions after this. Should be fine, because we got a lot of money from defeating trainers. Maybe more from being the gym leader. Dave is, Dave is gonna solo everyone. Dave is the almighty, all powerful. A broken early game steel save. It's kinda nuts how much value I get just from him. The, the merit of being a steel save. We go for the turn one paralysis. No point in letting this thing have a guarantee of doing what it wants to do. Which is tackle me for. Fix damage, that's actually quite a lot. I'll be honest. Just 
Thundershock doing? ILB3 hits with Thundershock. That should be good enough. You can feel your desire to win, yeah. You can feel your desire to use a potion because it's now on red. So let me go for a uh, Street Sonic Boom just to check how much health this thing has. Sonic Boom does exactly 20 and does exactly half. So I'll just kill it. <laughs> there we go. I mean, I don't know, man. Magnum might, might actually be cracked this early. I think Whirlipede learns Earthquake, if I'm not mistaken. A pursuit is not really going to do much. I mean, I guess the, the AI is smart enough to know not to use the um, moves I'm immune to, because I think it has poison type moves, but it's just not using any of them. I mean, I think Sonic Boom just makes sense here, right? Because normally I was using Thundershock because of that paralysis chance, but now that I have a guaranteed paralysis, just like with Thunder Wave, I don't really have a reason to care about that. I'd rather just do the raw damage. I guess in this case, uh, using Sonic Boom there might have put him into red. So I went for a Thundershock there purely, so that I wouldn't put that thing into red health. So that they wouldn't use a potion, because now Sonic Boom will just kill. And it's just protect stalling, because why not, I guess. It's really annoying. It's just gonna protect this turn, and unless it gets paralyzed, I can't do shit about it. There we go. It's finally dead. Dave really did just solo this gem. Like, he took a total of, like, exactly his health farm damage from three whole trainers. Including things that were level 18. I think it came in here level 13. There we go. Second badge of eight already. This feels pretty fast, but time-wise, it's already been like two hours, which is kind of insane. It just doesn't feel like it's been that long. But yeah. Hey, Venoshock. Poison-type coverage could be nice, and it, it, that's actually just nice for uh, coughing, which you can actually see in the background. They got coughing is like the mascot of this now silent band. This is like actually eerily silent. Hopefully the music will come back once I leave this place, because that would, that would be really sad. 65 base power, 100 accuracy, doubles if the target is poisoned, and he already has, like, basically the the uh, poison version of Toxic and, and Smog here, which is 20 base power, 70 accurate. Uh, it says may poison the target, I think it's a 50% chance. And on, I mean, tech and assurance are two different types of coverage, so I guess smokescreen I get rid of, even though it's actually kind of good. Whatever. Venom Shock is going to be cracked, so it is what it is. Oh, there we go. Oh boy, I think that's the Pokestar Studio music. Wow, isn't that exciting? Well. <laughs> It's, it is eerily quiet playing Pokemon with no background music. I never want to be in that scenario again. Holy shit, this is this is actually like almost painful to not hear anything. Now I'm curious if I go back in, does it do I hear music again? Oh, it's just gone. Okay, yeah, that's that's crazy. Oh, let's go heal before anything. Get Becker. 10 health that we're missing, and then we have to go through the horrible monstrosity that is Pokestar Studios. Which, yeah, this might actually be an hour long episode. That's nuts. <laughs> I mean, there's not even anything too interesting going on. I don't know if I've talked about anything too interesting. I haven't really been thinking about it, because most of these. This series is supposed to be a bunch of very short, like, minute long episodes, pretty much. So I, I wasn't thinking that I'd have to do commentary. Which, yeah. I mean, not commentary, you know what I mean. Like, like just... Like, you just... Not... Because commentary is like, like talking about what's happening in the game, which is what I am actually doing. That's what I expected to have to do. That's how far I thought it would go. I didn't think I'd have to, I guess, be entertaining is the better word, and, and talk about stuff that isn't Pokemon, or maybe is Pokemon, but isn't directly on screen, in order to, you know, give you something to, I don't know, get some entertainment value. I feel like just walk me, watching me walk around this fucking place is just a waste of time. Holy shit. Let me out. 
It's this is like the worst area in all of Pokemon. This is the only bad part about Black and White 2 is this specific area. It's so awful and it's forced. Like a lot of the cool post game stuff, you don't even have to do, which is unfortunate because it's really cool. Uh, but this, like, you just yeah, this is, this is just awful. It's it's like Pokemon contest, but without the contest and like the weird goofy mechanics that go with it. This is just awful. I really don't know what they were cooking when they were thinking this stuff out. Okay, come on. This is like tutorial 1 out of 55. It's so awful. I will be mashing my way through this. Not a single person I've ever known has cared about this. Like it's it's such a random thing. Even the audience members programmed into the game don't care at all. I mean, look at them. You can, for me, it's the bottom screen, but for you guys, it's the right. Look at them. They don't give a shit. They don't care at all. I'll even do the the funny goofy uh, attack. Poco, just ponder or whatever. I'm, I'm just mashing. I'm mashing it. I didn't even have an option for what to attack with. Like this is just a first thing I had to watch. That's the, the the people in the seats right there is my live reaction. Except like instead of like a straight line for a mouth, it's it's like my mouth turned down. If they're all asleep, that sounds about right. That's me right now falling asleep. This shit is boring. Riolu died. I don't know if that always happens. But now half, like, like 90% of them left. And, like, the other four are, like, confused. Yeah. And then you have to watch the credits of Bryson, 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 and, and like, random-ass names in here. It's, uh... This is, this is something, yeah, everyone's confused and sad and... It's just, just like a big waste of fucking time. And this is just part one of like the force like tutorial. That took like five minutes. And that's five minutes of my life I'll never get back. And that's five minutes of your life that you'll never get back, assuming that you're watching this whole thing. Which I don't know why. If I were you, I'd I'd actually recommend like I know YouTubers aren't supposed to recommend skipping parts of videos, but I would recommend that you skip the next like five to ten minutes. I'll be honest, it's just not worth watching. I don't care, it'll fuck the watch time on this video, it'll, it'll mess up my metrics or whatever. I'd rather know that I'm not the reason people have to, have to like, suffer. You know? This is just, just, it's not even entertaining to watch from, like, a third-person perspective if you're laying back on the couch. It just sucks. I guess the most entertaining part of this is just hearing me fucking rant about how awful it is, but it just sucks. It's, it's not even, like, fun to- there's so little here. And it's also pointless that I don't even have anything to pinpoint. It just sucks. And Bryson is the gym leader from the last game, and he's, he's instead of being the cool, mysterious, ice cold gym leader, he's a fucking guy in Pokestar Studios, which is just really unlucky. You hate to see it. I would have to, yeah, I have to talk to this guy. Because normally, normally with stuff like this, I don't remember it, and I'll go talk to all the random NPCs, but for this specifically, it's such a pain in the ass that I remember having to talk to that guy specifically, because it's not obvious that you need to talk to that guy. They do have some goofy music, though. It's just like some Charlie Chaplin type music, which I think is kind of fun. Yeah. It's actually pretty funny, though. This episode goes very well with the question of the day. I didn't expect to have to do this this episode, but yeah, my least favorite Pokemon mechanic of all time Hands down, is Pokestar Studios. But if we're talking about like Pokemon battles, um, honestly, I'm not a big fan of Z moves. I think they're stupid. That's my personal uh, take there. I liked Megas. Dynamax was kind of iffy, but it's okay. Uh, and like all the all the other random moves and stuff, all have their own thing going on. But fucking. In terms of mechanics, Z moves are just dumb. They're just like a really powerful one-time use move. I think instead of having Z moves, they could just have like the crystals, the fighting normal crystal, whatever. Or it's a one-time use boost of a, 
know, specific attack. Uh, I don't know, man. Z moves just felt really dumb, and they, they basically were just like a guaranteed kill on something random. Uh, and then there was like the one, the one good use uh, for Z moves that I can remember was like Kamalolo or something, where basically his Z move was like a stat buff and everything, and that was like his signature thing. But outside of him, I thought they were all stupid. They just did a lot of damage and did nothing crazy special. Like, Dynamax basically took Z moves and made it actually kinda cool. Uh, kinda, I'm still kinda. I don't actually like Dynamax that much. Just wanna make that pretty clear. Let's go talk to, like, these guys and see if they give us anything. Okay, yeah. You notice how there's like five whole ass NPCs just standing there and talking to all five of them, you get nothing. If I talk to all of these, these NPCs and they give me zero anything, I'm just gonna be sad. There's so many motherfuckers I gotta talk to. There's just a random model of a boat down here that makes no sense. The bridge there makes no sense. There's this guy. See what he's got going on. Mansion, cool, I guess. Damn, they don't have the portrait of Sizzle, I'm lucky. I do actually know the only cool thing in all Pokestar Studios is right here. This tile of the tree, like right here, is surfable. But just this tile. I don't know why, it's like a bug, but it's it's that's the only thing in all the Pokestar Studios. Uh, outside of that, you have these two buildings with nothing in them. Like, no NPCs that give you anything cool or anything, to my knowledge. You got like a whole upper area up here for just nothing to happen. Just, just absolutely nothing. Zero things anyone gives a shit about. It's just a big waste of time, it's like a purely visual thing. And it's and it's forced. That's the worst part. Is that it's forced in the story. Do you have the statue here? Which maybe that matters later. I can't remember if it does. For now, I mean, it's just it's just such a waste of time. And, I, and we're finally done with it, which is nice. But I don't actually know when the next encounter is, so this could be a long ass episode. I kind of maybe should have not gotten all my encounters out of the way when I did. It's good. Oh, yep. Here's the next part of the story, for sure. And I think this brings us to Castilia City when we go through here. Yeah, I can definitely beat you. I got Dave, bro. What are you gonna do with Dave? There's not many answers to Dave, especially this early on. Can't think of too many good ground types outside of like maybe Sandile, or even then that's not even that good of a like Sandile's evolutionary line is great, but Sandile on his own, I mean I, I don't think he actually has that great sets, not compared to Dave at least. I wonder if uh, Thunder Wave can paralyze you out of body. I don't actually remember how that move works. Let's just hit us a Thunder Shock. There we go, yeah. It, it got paralyzed out of Bion. No plus Rishia. I mean, I could've just killed it with two Thunder Shocks, I guess, instead, but... You know, it, it was about sending a message that Bion is a very stupid move, but I definitely haven't lost, like, tons of Nuzlocks to him. Definitely have lost, I, let me make that very clear, I've lost tons of Nuzlocks to Bion. The move is fucking disgusting. Like the early game. After that, it does nothing. But like early game, early low level Pokemon, you get destroyed by Bion. There's like no counterplay I can think of. Ooh, I don't actually really have an HM sleeve. Unless uh, Lilypuff can learn cut, that would be fucking amazing. I could just have Lilypuff can learn cut and be a pickup mon. That would be beautiful. Who learns it? The whole party doesn't learn it. Lilypup has an item though. Good thing I, I checked the menu. Need that item. Potion. I mean, it's a free potion. I think what we're gonna do for now is we're gonna take Tepig out of the party because I won't need him now that Dave's all level. And I'll I'll bring him back when uh 
when we have the daycare center and we can get a, another Tepe. Okay, the metal guy's got something here. But I believe the mon I remember learning cut is the cat. Light bird or whatever per loin, I guess was called. But if, if uh, Adino can learn it, that would be ideal. I'm gonna check if Adino can learn it. If she can't, so be it. And then I'll have Perloin in the party to learn it, if I do know can. And I'm, I'm definitely bringing Coughing back in. Right. So. Okay, just the cat can learn it, and the cat will learn it, and then just sit in the back of my party and do nothing. I do need to, maybe I'll, after this episode, I'll look up what a good HM slave for this game is and have that on my team at all times, because I kind of forgot that's like a necessary part of Pokemon, these early gems. I should actually probably have a box for mons I've completed the line of. I think I'll just move it one to the left and put them in there. Like this, this Elekid's gonna stay an Elekid. This uh, Magnemite's gonna stay a Magnemite. And this Coughing's gonna stay a Coughing. And the Growlithe's gonna stay a Growlithe. So, like, they all should be in their own area so that I don't accidentally. You know what I mean? I don't accidentally level them. Name. I'm just gonna name it Finn because that's the fastest thing you can type. That means, like, done. I guess done would have been one extra letter, which is really not that bad, but you know what I mean? There we go. Suck the metal guy and go take another metal. The light walker. I don't know what that could be. Step by step saver. New face here. Uh, are those all related to Pokestar Studios? Just curious, now I need to know. Okay, I'm to the middle box. Um. Okay, Light Walker, 5,000 steps, a lot of steps. Okay, step by step savers for saving a lot. Pokemon Center fan. Going to Pokemon Center. What's the last one? The metal camera in the release of the debut movie Bryson Man. Okay, so they took a shape to be a metal just for like playing through the story. So those are straight up just like achievements, like Steam achievements. It's kinda goofy. Anyway, our team's all ready now. Let's go off and travel to Castilia City. I have to go in the building and talk to the... what? It's not where the captain is. I thought the captain was supposed to be here. Where do they run off to? They back up by Pokestar Studios? Probably. Do they want to check there right away? No, not really. I'm actually confused. I wasn't paying a lot of attention. Where, where did they go? Let's go check down here, I guess. Oh wait, I have cut now, I can do this. Good thing I came down here. Even though there's clearly nothing going on here. Oh, I should have really paid attention during those like five seconds. That was kind of important. Got a super potion though, which is nice. That is actually pretty good this early on. I mean, they're not gonna be down here. Oh, wait, there's an item there. Good thing I went around there. Good thing I just completely missed the story, because now I get an extra item. Wait, how do I actually get to that item? I did not think about this. They're probably up by Pokestar Studios, aren't they? For fuck's sake. Yeah, they clearly comes up and down, but how do I get up and down? Do I have to go, like, all the way around? Does it clearly- I guess that comes up from the fucking water or something, so I need to surf. Well, let's get back to Pokestar Studios and have even more fun. So I think that's where we have to go? Right. 
No? Okay, I definitely missed something. I missed it in here, do I have to watch my own movie? Okay, I don't wanna do that if I don't have to. What did I miss? <laughs> Maybe I'll talk to the NPCs that are actually in the thing. Uh, cause they're probably... Like the people in the, uh... Cause I know that the next step definitely is to take a boat to Castilia City. I do remember that. Cause I'm... Unless it's the sewers over here, I don't remember. Uh... One way or another. Let's actually, let's look to this guy. I've already talked to this guy. Okay, let's see what these guys have to say. He's in PokéStar Studios. He's still in there? Okay. So I knew I was right. It's everything always comes back to PokéStar Studios. But like, what the fuck do I have to do there? That's really annoying. This gonna be one of the longer sessions just because PokéStar Studios is involved. I guess they're probably in this building because it's the only place I didn't check when I walked back here. Where's the captain? Oh, that was over here. Oh, I guess I'm gonna go up here. Is this guy? They say he's at PokéStar Studios. I actually go all the way back up here and he just doesn't exist. What do I gotta do? I've done my time. I thought I was done with this shit. But now I need to find the captain. Is he down by the dressing things maybe? No? I, I just don't know. So I've been I've been through every other part of the PokéStar Studios that I can think of. I might actually have to Google this. I don't want to be stuck here too long. <laughs> this is actually really annoying. They're definitely not just in some random house or anything. But like, what is? What about the talk to you? You're the hint middle person. I don't care about you. But the talk to the people at the end of the dock. The entry link. So that, that's like the dream area, I'm pretty sure. Maybe they're in the gym? The gym is still completely silent, so that's just not it. But I've been actually everywhere, like except this tiny fucking random house, which I've been to once. They're definitely not in here, so I, I don't know. I have no clue what I am. the intentions are here. I, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do unless they're like further down here and I just didn't check. Maybe they're at the bottom. Oh. Okay, time to time to look it up. I, I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do here. Let's see. Uh, uh, I guess I'm gonna go through a whole ass walk through. Where are we at? This is where they battle the gym leader. They've battled the gym leader. They went through the theater. They did the... Oh, they went back? That is really weird. I guess I go back out to the left. 
But it does give me a chance to fight the one trainer I didn't fight. It's actually rather annoying. The backtrack. I don't remember backtracking much in this game. I guess this is just the annoying part. To be fair, any any small amount of backtracking will be heavily overshadowed by Pokestar Studios existing. Why was the music so intense? There was like one frame of music there, and it was it was super intense. Got Dunsparce, the Serene Grace Pokemon. It's a little bit under leveled compared to me now. My man Dave, fucking so lose this game. Dave OP. Except Dunsparce has like really high stats for this point in the game. Sonic Boom should still kill, I think. No, wow. The Thundershock's now doing exactly 20, so next next move I get uh, definitely replaces Sonic Boom. There's no point in having it anymore. It's even as a coverage move for turn, it's just better. Okay. Okay, no, it's just staying in turns. Sounds like the evil team theme, so it's probably just a... Let me check for 20. For what? What am I looking for? This guy. I guess, I guess one of the grunts ran off. We do get to hear the hype ass fucking grunt battle thing. I guess there's a, there's some positive to this, but it's not much of a positive, I'll be honest. Okay, time for Dave to do what Dave does best. Limber? What the fuck is Limber? I don't even know what that is. It's really annoying though, because now my accuracy is low. Oh god, now I miss because of the accuracy low. It's just annoying. Die. Stop hitting me with sand attack. Please, thank you, Dave, for hitting. Sand attack spam is like the worst thing in all of Pokemon. Going back to Burbank City. Okay. What do you got cooking? The rival battle. Okay, we're finally allowed to go back to the boat. Thank fucking God. We could actually get an encounter here and end off the episode, which I'd be fine with. Padove! That is new. That is new. I have not caught a Padove yet. Let's go catch it with a Pokeball, because I don't really care about base Padove that much. I do actually like the Padove one purely because I got a shiny one in this in a soul link I did with the Duke King on this channel. Because that it actually single-handedly make me like the line a lot more. Same with the Suwaddle line. Purely because I got shiny of it. So I got two shinies in that one solo, link, which was nuts. Okay, let's give it a name. And then we can finally end off this long ass episode. I'm gonna go with Pam. So it just makes the most sense to me. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the god-awful Pokestar Studios arc. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.